Today, we'll be showcasing Monster Insights. This week, WordPress just released their latest update. WordPress 5.6 is the last major release of 2020. So with that, it comes with several new features, new improvements, and a new default theme. So let's dive in and take a look at some of the features that you have with 5.6. Now, since 5.6 is a major release, you want to make sure you back up your website before you do an update. One of the first things you'll notice is it has come with a new theme. If you go to Appearance, themes you'll see the latest 2021 and this will be the default for the next year we have it already selected and you can see that this is what it looks like it's a beautiful layout that you can adjust to make it look just like what you want your site to look like the other thing that they chose with the theme is they chose to use system fonts to make it speedier so they're not pulling in third-party fonts into the system so that's helpful in speeding up your site even more which is becoming more and more important for your website the other cool thing is it's a nice pastel color. They have gone with a lot of pastels. If you scroll through here in the about part, you can also see a whole rainbow of soft pastels, as they say. It also comes with great colors so that you can put it in dark mode if you want. And I'll show you what that looks like there. To show you what I'm talking about, we can go into customize and we can go into colors and dark mode. And you see here it says dark mode is a device setting. So if a visitor on your site requests it, then your site will be shown in a dark background with a light text. Now let's take a look at some of the changes that are in the actual block editor. For instance, when we go up to the plus area in 5.5, they introduced patterns and now they've expanded on these patterns. These are items that you can choose to put in your page or your post that you're working on. It already has a certain setup that you can just go in and change the content to your content. These patterns are great for building and creating something quickly. The other cool thing about the patterns is first you have theme specific patterns that you can choose from. For instance, these are all the 2021 patterns that I can choose from. And then you have all the default patterns. They've categorized them to make it easier for you to pick and choose what you're working on. So that you're only working on the area that you need to. Another cool block editor improvement is the cover image. In the previous update, they updated a focal point. So you can have a focal point on an image. And now they've taken that even further where you can also choose a focal point on your video if you have a video. So you can move this around for video support as well, which is very cool. When you're in the block editor and you're searching for something like say picture, but it's actually an image, they, what they've done is they've improved the searchability so developers can add variations to what their block is. For instance, image versus pic. If I'm typing in picture, then an image will still come up. So that is super helpful. Up here in the information panel, in, along with words, headings, paragraphs, and blocks, you also now have support for characters. So you know exactly how many characters your page or post has. And then in doing a list, you have now you have color setting support so you can change the background of your listicle. And that really helps it to stand out even more on your site. The other cool feature is now they have support a few updates for the social icon. Along with these other styles, you now have a dark gray that you can use for your social media profile. The other thing you can do is you can set open in a new tab for all the links of all your social profiles. So that is a great feature. So people will stay on your site, even if they're going to visit one of your other social media profiles. The other cool thing is now the editor options are now called preferences. So if you go up to the three dots up here, then you go down to preferences. This is so you can make the look and feel of the content editor area exactly how you want. You can choose from general items, keyboard specific, the overall appearance of it and document settings. So you can choose that here and it's under the three dots and they've renamed it preferences instead of options. And in addition to 5.5's ability for you to automatically update plugins and themes, they've extended that functionality to now automatically update major WordPress releases as well. And you can see that under dashboard updates. And then some other cool features that they have are more developer friendly under the hood items that you can take a look at in the description below with our article on some of the other updates like PHP 8 support, as well as some application password resets for REST API and a few other things like jQuery support. And then one of the best ways to make sure that your site is doing well is by installing something like Monster Insights. With Monster Insights, you can connect 
your WordPress website with Google Analytics so you can see all of the data right from your dashboard. With Muster Insights, you see things like how many page views, how many sessions, the bounce rate, and so much more. To get started, you can head over to monsterinsights.com and make sure you use promo code WPB VIP and you'll get the best discount on Monster Insights. And now let us know in the comments below which was your favorite update from the WordPress 5.6 release. And thanks for watching.